Welcome back, folks, to my Let's Play of Pillars of Eternity. When we last left off, we were making our character. As you can see, we're about to make her now and continue the game. So let's hop to it, shall we? Yes. <clears throat> now, as always, for cutscenes, I will shut up. The Caravan Master finishes a dressing group. His brussy red mustache and sagging jaws quiver as if for emphasis. Everybody stays close to the wagons, got it? Stay out of the woods, and beasts take you if you were planning a stroll through those ruins up there. He nods towards a looming black mass on the hillside. Whole area's crawling with hut-dwelling types who'd be happy to stick an axe in you for trespassing. So mind that you don't track mud on their sacred blazing rocks. Tonight everybody stays put, and in the morning we'll get the path cleared. Gilded veils less than a day out. Understood? At last, the caravan master turns to you, frowning as he looks you over. Touch of the rumbling rot, could be. There's a stinging beetle around here carries it. You'll be fine once it passes your innards. Unless you don't drink water, of course. In which case you'll be dead in a day. Ha <laughs> jeez. There's a berry grows in these parts, small and pink, called a springberry, about the size of a fingernail. Give you cramps if you eat it, but the frontiersmen make a tea from it. Calms the insides. Should get you through the night. You might check around, see if you can find some. Meanwhile, I'll see if we can scare you up some water. I know you want to hunt before it gets much darker, but see about refilling our water first. Got a sick one here. All right. Uh... Sapfell nods and slides the worn bow over his, sword, his shoulders. Now we can um, ask questions, of course, and we can just leave. Why don't we some ask some questions, though? Where would I find these berries? They grow on a bush that's common around here, kind of funny looking. You'll know it when you see it. Doubt you'd have to go far off the road to find one. What are those ruins? Nothing you won't see on half the hills of Air Glonfoth. Money to be made selling their knickknacks in Defiance Bay if you don't mind getting stuck with Glonfoth and arrows now and again. They didn't build them, but I'll be the effigy if they don't watch them like a mother bear. Of course, all the ones around here have been ransacked ten times over. Got nothing left worth half a pawn, so I hear. We have a, con or a conversation entry added to the tutorial, so that way we can look back at the tutorials if we want to. Who did build the ruins? Got different names for them. Settlers called them in Gwithans. Nobody that liked them enough to stop them becoming ruins tell you that much. Is it dangerous out here? Not if you hurry about your business. And not if the weather holds up. There is concern in his tone. But he does not elaborate. What kind of weather do they get out here? This time of year? Rain, mostly. And wind. But there's a different kind of wind out here time to time. Locals call it a beowick, born out of the ether, the spirit's path. Never seen it myself, never care to. What are those huge rocks coming out of the ground? They don't got Audra <clears throat> where you come from? <clears throat> well, it just grows up out of the ground like this. Goes deep like tree roots. Some of it all the way to the heart of the world, you believe the stories. It's more like a shell than a proper rock. Easier to work if you're a mason. Got all kinds of strange properties. Seems to have some kind of life of its own. Dies if it gets dug up. Loses its luster. Folks think it probably grew at one point or another, but not these days. The soul butchers in Defiance Bay use it for different things. I've heard tell it can hold a man's soul, but I don't care to see it. Got enough to worry about without seeing something like that. I'll go see about those berries then. Hold on. Take someone with you. I know you're not some helpless tenderfoot, not like most of this lot. But you drop dead, I don't want to be looking for the body. Got a schedule to keep. He scans over the travelers, resting his eyes on the, on the length on a sturdy, armor-clad woman who has spent the journey's night sleeping on uneven ground without a blanket or a pillow. Kalisha. Kalisha! The woman looks up on her own time. She needs to find some spring berries. Watch that she does not drop dead. No promises. What kind of guide says something like that? Kind you can afford. Don't listen to her. You're in good hands. 
And I pay too well, if anything. Off with you. Hayden should have supplies. See that you're equipped before you head out. We're in harsh country. Get your berries and hurry back. And if you get so much as a tickle of wind, you drop everything and you run. Something in the air tonight. If it's a Beowick, we'll shelter in the ruins. Hut dwellers be damned. You heard the man. Let's get going before you keel over. All right, we have a new quest now. Okay, so. The camera moves when you move with the left stick. This is locked. I'll have this open in no time. Let's see. I'll have this open in no time. Hmm. Interact. Now I'm trying to learn how to do things. Alright, start button opens this, but let's save real quick. Select opens the map. Alright, Y unpauses it. X puts it where you can just I shall. do this instead. Hmm. Alright. Okay. Alright, let's talk to some people for now. Don't mind Odim. This is as good a place to camp as any. Okay. If you say so. Tapping A lets you interact with people and objects in front of you. Okay. To interact with a uh, distant object and people, hold the A and aim with BL, and then release A to confirm your target. Okay. Ah, okay, I see. That's cool. Caravan Life doesn't agree with you, does it? You look as raw as a merchant's, as the map merchant Hedron. It's best not to wander alone, especially near the ruins. I suppose you wouldn't know much about Galfatherians. Uh, They're mighty protective of this place, place like this. All kinds of beasts in the woods, and then you have the tribes. Anyone need supplies? I've got sundries for sale. You see a man wearing a simple but mostly neat clothing. He is transfixed, however, by a ragged tear in the seam of his tunic. Brought a whole wagon full of goods to sell, but not enough shirts for the road. He scratches one cheek with his knuckle. It's covered with uneven stubble, as if it hasn't been, hasn't quite gone used to shaving on the road. Say, is there anything you need? I've got some basic traveling supplies for sale, if you'd like to take a look. Let's see what you got. Stores allow for trade, sell your items, copper pieces. Okay. Stores navigate through the left and right sticks. Use the left stick to grab. Grows the list. Okay. Okay, so we can just use this. Um, how much gold do we have? We have a hundred uh gold or whatever their uh copper pieces. And she they have basic stuff. They have some armor for 300. We cannot buy anything of importance. However, we will buy these lockpicks. We'll buy all three lockpicks. Oh, no, we can't buy all three. So, instead, we'll buy two lockpicks. And that's all we need for now, I believe. Yes. So, we will trade. Now we got lockpicks. So we should be able to lockpick that box over there now. And see what goodies it has inside. I'll handle this. Okay, interact. Alright, I got it's difficulty one. No, I don't have enough to do it, unfortunately. It looks like. I need three lockpicks, it looks like. So no, we can't do it. Darn it. Well, maybe we can buy the lockpick again. Because sometimes you can do that. Something else you need? Looks like we're settled for the... And I'm noticing some glitches with the... 
Oh, we only won. We only bought one lockpick. That's the thing. Okay. Got 24 left. Do we have anything in our... No, we don't. We got two lockpicks. It might work, but probably not. More than likely. I'll have this open in no time. Yeah, we need... I'll handle this. Okay, holding the buttons lets you do this. Uh, the top buttons. No I I got a mace. Second win, lay on hands. Now, I don't know if anyone's noticing, but at the corner... Hmm... Uh oh. Let's keep All right. quiet. All right, we screwed up something. There we go. Okay. Now let's go exploring and see what we could find. Now I've played hmm, party selection. Listen. Oh, well that could have helped earlier. <laughs> Members. All right. And here we find someone to sit in here. Sparfell. I'll have your water soon enough. Stream's not going anywhere. Well, thank you. Let's check by those outcroppings. Alright, so far I don't see anything around here, but look who we've had here. Now, this is uh, our first combat. So what we want to do... Hmm. Alright, we don't need any magic. And we don't have any magic. Pressing A. Outside combat comes by the press X. Okay. Alright, we'll just have them both attack. You can uh, do it individually like this as well. Knockdown. And then you unpause it. And then your character should be able to start doing what you told them to do. Now these wolves are pretty simple. So we shouldn't have any problem with it. However, we I did get hit a little bit. Now let's see what he has. Wolves hide. Well, you can craft with that or sell it. Uh, I haven't figured out how to craft in this yet, obviously. This is it. Ah, here's the berries we were looking for. I hear you're a pretty good hunter. Don't tell uh, Sparfell, or he'll run his mouth clear to Gladen Valley, trying to convince you how much better he is. Now we can ask her multiple things. I spent a lot of time living on my own in the wilderness. I used to hunt monsters for a living. I was responsible for hunting and gathering for my village. I was a fisherman, actually, and that is none of your business. Now this is to help uh, set up backs background for your character. I'm going to pick, I used to hunt monsters for a living. Yeah? How, how'd you happen to come here? Now this is how we came here. We attempted a dangerous hunt. I was too ambitious and we weren't ready. Most of the other people died. I risked my life and kept a lot of the people safe in their beds. And no one ever so much thanked me. We tracked a, mon a monster for ages. Killing it would have made us famous. We found it long dead of natural causes. After that, there was no reason to stay. And then, of course, there's that isn't your business. So I'm going to say no, this one. That's a damn run of luck. Maybe the new setting will turn things around for you. Uh, Kalisha brings in her surroundings. It's been a long time since I've been this way, but I always did like you. Lord Regic's office offer makes the girl think. I'll give him that. You here to settle like the rest of us? It's a hard pa offer to pass up. No, I'm just passing through. I haven't given it much thought. I'm going to say it's a hard offer to pass up. You won't find many offers like that in these parts. Believe me. Got some big plans in store? I can say either I'm going to settle here and start a new life. 
I'm going to lay low here for a while, try not to draw too much attention. Getting filthy rich. I have no idea what I'm going to do next. I think I'm going to say that. Completely spontaneous, huh? Interesting. Well, there's probably no hurry to make up your mind. They've got uh, an end in, Gl in Gilded Vale that will put you up as long as you need. Or so my sister tells me. Anyways, I'm wasting time here. Odile will give me an earful. Let's be on our way. Now we can uh, ask her about herself. Why are you here? Kalisa sighs unevenly. Her eyes search the ground at her feet. My sister moved out here some time back. She sent me a letter and she seemed worried. But that's how she always is. This time though, she asked me to come out. And that's got me a little worried. I haven't seen her in ages. Been doing guide work in Actimil. But I'd do anything for her. She's well... She's a much better woman than me, so I'm here and we'll see. Adima, I've been working for, I've been wor I've worked with before. He doesn't usually drive a route this way, but he's doing it for me. Tell me about yourself. I got simple needs. I like open skies, fire, far horizons. I work, I have fine work that lets me live that way. My family wanders too. We started in drywood, but my parents ended up in the living lands. I got a brother in Rutari and another in Idrir. My sister in Gilded Vale, she's the only real homebody. What can you tell me about D Drywood? I'm not much for history, but what I know, it used to be part of the Idrid Empire. Broke off after the war and some years back. The locals are here and feisty, and that's how they like it. I've been out of touch, but I've been hearing weird kind of things about it lately. People have been having trouble giving birth, I guess. A lot of them. Been going on for years. Now, but somehow it's getting worse. It's been going on a lot of years now, but somehow getting worse. With an uneasy tremor in her voice, she adds, I'll have to ask my sister about it. Alright, let's go back to camp. You know, I wouldn't hold my breath that Sparkfell's getting your water anytime soon. He does what he feels like, when he feels like it. We should check up on him first, flap him around a little. Streams just down that way. Come, let's get you your water. Okay, now we gotta find Sparfell. Which shouldn't be too much of a problem. He's pretty close by. Let's get rid of that real quick. Now, let's see. We gotta go south. He was right here by the tree, but then he moved on to get us our water. So now let's go get our water, shall we? He shouldn't be too far off. He's down here by the stream. Yep, we know that already. That's just to tell us how to do uh, this so you can change stuff and whatnot. Let's explore over here, shall we? Let's see what we find. Maybe there's some goodies or something to fight over here. There's a deer over here. We can't really do much to the deer unless we have a bow. If we had a bow, we could probably take it out. Oh, what's this? The corpse is cold from the touch and a ripe smell wafts from the putrid waves. A dark crusted blood. Traveler maybe, or looters, or bandits. Bad sign, anyway. Now what did it say? A dark crusted blood stain besmirches its simple lining clothing. That is not good. We have leather armor, and it's weaker than what I have now. However, we do have a lockpick. That is something we definitely needed. Before we even attempt to find uh, Sparfell, let us go pick that lock. But actually, we will do that next time. If you like, hit the like button, and I will see you guys next time. Hop you later.